Abby Thampi's strong relationship and analytical skills have quickly established him as a key player in commercialization at AUT Ventures. One of Abby's big strengths is he just gets on with everybody, whether it's researchers or investors or, or his colleagues, but he's also quite customer focused, thinking about what problems they're solving. Abby often identifies opportunities that we hadn't really thought of. I always try to fall in love with the problem than the solution. Building that relationship with the researchers, trying to do everything as a team, making sure that people love this journey and they come up with new solutions. So I think the rest of the things will fall in place, but understanding the customer is the key. Abby has been pivotal in the commercialization of key projects, including spin-outs, Spherlows and Grapple. He combines a strong technical proficiency with just a love of working with people. He's really detail focused, so he doesn't miss anything. I know that when I've asked Abby to do a job, it stays done. The technologies and the solutions and coming from Newson is great. We are solving problems for the entire world. What I want is like wherever I am, I need to make sure I create an impact. Ella Moffat is driving innovation and commercialization at Massey Ventures with her collaborative and forward-thinking approach. The thing I like about Ella, and I think it's probably something of her generation as well, is that they are very values-based, working for a greater good, so it builds really good relationships. I would describe my approach to commercialization as being collaborative and very much so impact-driven by working with staff and students to really understand how I can best support them in commercializing their work. Ella actively pursues new opportunities, such as her secondment to Louisiana State University and founding the Student Investment Fund. She was the instigator of the Student Investment Fund that supports student startups from Massey University, and she's been instrumental in getting that up and running and making its first investment. Between the Student Investment Fund, the cross collaboration, and the university exchange, we've really been able to increase our disclosures to create uh, high quality outcomes for our projects. Ben Pearson is known for his ability to forge strong relationships and find creative solutions to get ideas to market. Ben has been uh, one of our front people for um, setting up workshops over the many years. Ben has a great ability to bring people along on the journey with him. He has amazing relationship skills. No, I think I like um, finding both the people and the ideas and so who can take something forward. It's also, you know, part of our role is to be able to ask those hard questions early so that we're de-risking the riskiest aspect of these technologies. In 2023 alone, Ben was instrumental in forming six new companies and securing investment for existing portfolio companies. He's negotiated over 50 million in contracts in his time. He's looking for a win-win and that's where I think both sides of the table really appreciate where he comes from and how to get past blockages. He becomes a go-to person basically for negotiations. That's what I most admire about Ben. I think what I enjoy the most is supporting you know, the founders um, that we work with to be able to actually get their idea into market, you know, how that contributes to kind of New Zealand and, and the knowledge economy.